Today I'm going to show you how to use appointment schedules and embed them in websites such as Wix, Google Sites, WordPress, Squarespace, either as a button, as a fully loaded calendar as you can see here. Let's jump in and get started. So the first three things that you're going to need is you're going to need your website open, first of all, whether that's a Google Site or WordPress. I'm going to show you both of those today. And you're going to need Google Calendar, but also you're going to need access to Google Calendar appointment schedules. If you're an educator, it comes with that educator account. If you just have a free Gmail account, it comes with that. But if you're on a small business, you actually need to go a step up from the small business to the next scale. You're probably spending $6 a month. You need to be at the $12 a month. So you can see here, this is what it looks like on my website, right? I have a button here that will take me over to that. And I have this full blown appointment schedule where people can schedule anytime they want with me. So it's great for booking. Below this, I have a smaller button that just has the kind of image of how many or how long the appointments are going to be. When I click on this, it will take me to the full blown page here where I can select a time to set up an appointment. Looks very similar on Google Sites. Google Sites button customization isn't as cool as it is on WordPress or maybe Squarespace or Wix. You can see here that I have a button here but I also have the calendar embedded in here where they can make appointment schedules with me individually. So let's jump over to Google Calendar. We go to the top left, we click on Create. Down here at the bottom, you'll see that we have appointment schedules. Now I already have an appointment schedule made, and so if you don't know how to create appointment schedule, there's another tutorial that you can go and watch, or you can you know go over there at the end that goes into details about the differences between appointment schedules and appointment slots. Once you have all of that set up, you can click on it here, and you'll see that you have this page you can open the booking page or you can share it when i click on share i'm gonna have a lot of different options and i kind of want to walk through with you what those options are especially for those of you that are new if you're advanced you can skip ahead in the time frame and show you how to embed this code straight into your website when i click on share I have the option to share it as a link or to embed it in a website. If I'm sending out the link, I can actually create that link inside of a button on my Google site or my WordPress site. And I've given you both examples. So there's a couple different ways to do this. A single booking page, just so you understand. So you have a couple options when you're going to use the link. The link is gonna be placed inside of a button or an image or something that you create and put in your website. And if it's an image, this would be the link that when people click on. So you could create something in Canva, or you could just use a simple button in WordPress or Google Sites. As soon as the client or the parent or the student clicks on that link, it will send them to your booking page. Now the difference between all appointment schedules, if I click on preview, it's going to show me this is what this looks like, right? So it's just this button where they have to click again. For me, that's a little bit annoying. I like the full single booking page. And to test what that looks like, I'm gonna grab this link here and I'm gonna put it in a new tab so you can see, hopefully you're following along. When I paste this here, it's gonna pull up the schedule that I've created with all of the possible time slots for that person, customer, parent, student, whatever, to click on to schedule that appointment. Again, you can customize the lengths of these appointments and it's in another video that you can go watch. So that link, is what's hiding behind the button. So if I'm over here in Google Sites, we'll start here and we're gonna edit this first. So you can see that I have the embedded button here. So I want to add something here, right? So when I click on button, it's going to give me the name of the button. I'm gonna paste the link right in here because that's the link that I want the button to go to. And this is a schedule. So when I click insert, you'll see now that I have the button here and it's going to automatically adapt whatever colors and fonts that I have on my Google site. I can make this a full screen button if I wanted to. So it's full screen there. Again, I have to publish, remember in Google sites, you need to publish this. So when I click on publish, it'll show me what it looked like previously and it'll show me what it looks like now. So I'm going to click on publish and then I'm gonna click the little down arrow up here and view my published site. So now my site is done and I have a little button here. There's not a lot of other stuff on here. This is the one that I used for tutorials last year. When I click on schedule, with me, it will automatically take the parent, student, teacher, customer, potential client to this booking page where they can now book an appointment with you. So if you're a teacher, an educator, this is great for parent teacher conferences because you can have all of the links on your school website and parents can actually go in and select whatever times they want to meet with that teacher. So if you have a parent teacher conference for three hours, your appointment slots are maybe 10 minutes. 
the parents can kind of schedule their own schedule. They would just need to go and sign up for those times. So that's the Google site. On WordPress, it's very similar. So you have a couple of different options here, depending on which version of WordPress you're in, if you're using Divi or Elementor, if you don't know what those are, that's fine. I've actually created a button here. When I click on add something here, I'm gonna add an element. So when I add button, you'll see that I have the text here and I can just type in the text and then I want to link that button to my appointment schedule page. So I'll come up here in WordPress, click on the link. I'm gonna paste this right here, make sure that that's linked. And I wanna open it in a new tab because I want my website to be open still when they're booking with me and then send them off to the booking page. I don't want them to leave my site because if they have something else that they need to do, they can come back to that page and it's still open for them. And then I would just update the page and then the button is right here. So if I go view the page, you'll see that I have this button right here when I click on this button, you'll know what's gonna happen. It's going to open my appointment schedule page and then the potential client, customer, parent, whoever can now book a time with me. Very similarly, when we embed the HTML. So instead of a button, what we're doing is we're actually gonna take this appointment schedule page and just embed it right on our site so we don't have to send them someplace else to create that appointment. And that looks a little bit different in Google Sites and WordPress, so let's walk through both of those processes. So on my Google Sites, I wanna to go to the button down in the bottom right-hand corner. We're gonna edit this page again, and we are going to embed something in here. We're gonna embed code. So when we go back over here, when Google Calendar, we have the option of a link and or a website embedded. So we're gonna click on website embed, and I just want the inline booking page so everything is just clean right there on my Google site. We're gonna copy all of this text here, Command C, go back over here to our Google site, Command V, we're gonna paste that in there. We're going to click next. We're gonna give it a second to embed, so there it is. So we're gonna insert it here, and you'll notice now it's only half the screen. So if you've gone through the Google Sites tutorial, you'll just drag and drop and it's got these little snap edges. And we're gonna go up a little bit on this guy. And if the page doesn't quite fit, you'll see that I have this scroll bar over here on the right. Now I'm going to publish this. Again, Google Sites is gonna double confirm that that's what I wanna do. So I click on publish. Now embedded in my Google site. So when I go to view the published site, it's gonna look exactly how it did on that page. We have the appointment schedules here. People scroll up and down. When they click on one of these, it puts in all the information that we requested in the appointment schedule tutorial or the calendar event. And they now have an appointment set up with me at 3.30 to four o'clock. Very similarly, again, with WordPress. When we go over to WordPress, when we add an element in WordPress, instead of embedding something, because that's gonna embed a link, we want to embed the HTML. So when I search for custom HTML, you'll see that it pulls up this little box. I'm going to paste the HTML that we pulled from Google appointment schedules. We have it here. We're gonna update the page. We're now gonna view the page. And what you'll see is the appointment schedule, full page schedule comes right in front of my potential customers, my parents, my teachers, my administrator, whatever, whatever you're using this for, it's right in front of them they can book a time right then with you. If you wanna learn about the difference between appointment slots and appointment schedules, you can look at this video up here. If you found value in this video and it helped solve a problem for you, I would love and appreciate a subscribe and a follow. Most likely you're an educator or a small business owner. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.